So what else do we do on a Saturday with nothing else going on? Let's go to the farm. the ghost range we're just shooting some guns just having a little bit of fun uh, brought some watermelon out I like watermelon I'm not sure why we're destroying it but we're gonna show you what a 12 gauge two and three quarter inch number four does to a watermelon it'll make quick work of that so stick around not much going on today we're just out here shooting some pews having a little bit of fun before the rain comes I'm gonna try and get it in here that's what you Well, there goes $15 worth of watermelon. Nate just informed me that I wasted $15. I don't think it was a waste. Not a waste. So we brought my 12 gauge, we brought Nate's 12 gauge. Uh, you guys have seen those both before. Uh, Nate's is my very first shotgun. Way back in the videos, I made a video of him getting that gun from me. Yeah. So today we're just out here having some fun, shooting some rounds. Now, if you recognize this place, this is where we were doing our turkey hunting. We were hiding back over in this area over here. Won't be any turkeys around here right now because we've been shooting. Also a lot of deer out here. We're gonna be back here in the fall when deer season starts and we'll be back in that same area back there again. Hopefully we can get one of those. gonna do it for out at the farm Nate and I had a good time started getting a little warm and brought out the deer flies and the mosquitoes it look also looked like there was rain coming across the sky anyway I gotta head home Jen and I and Ella are heading to Windsor I gotta look for a barbecue because tomorrow is Father's Day and I'm in charge of cooking what's wrong with that picture I'm supposed to be doing nothing You're supposed to be waiting on me hand and foot yeah, we all know that it's not gonna happen. Anyway, we're gonna go look for a barbecue. Uh, may or may not bring you into the stores. I know they're hard to find right now. I've been looking online and not having a whole lot of luck, but we're gonna make a couple of stops while we're there. We're gonna try and get some meat for tomorrow. And uh, hopefully that's not gonna be a problem. It is the day before Father's Day. Anyway, keep in a loop. I'll let you know what happens. All right, guys, well, we just left Lowe's. Well, we went to a couple other places, but we just left Lowe's. In the back there, right there, is a barbecue. It's a char griller barbecue, which should be no surprise because I've had char griller for years and I love my char griller. I just got a little different version. I can run smoke, I can do charcoal. It's exactly what I want. I'm happy with it. But we got it at Lowe's, Lowe's in Windsor on Walker Road. I hate to trash a company, but I'm going to trash a company. Lowe's, you got some work to do. You got some serious work to do. Got an associate, picked out the barbecue. She then says, okay, I'll be right back. She leaves. 30 minutes goes by. I see her walking up and down the aisles. So I said to Jen, I said, what, what, where's the barbecue? Anyway, I decide to go ask where the barbecue is. I go down the aisle where she is, and she's been waiting on customers the whole time. She has not gone to get the barbecue yet. So I waited till she was done with that customer. I then asked for my barbecue. 
She then says, oh, which one did you want again? The char griller, right? Oh, I'm just waiting for somebody to help me. <laughs> I laughed. I said, uh, I'm waiting for somebody to help me too. Nevertheless, I turned around and walked away. I then asked for a manager because I then waited another 10 minutes. The manager didn't even show. The manager of Lowe's on Walker Road didn't even show. Needless to say, I'm about ready to shove a whole lot of things in places that they don't belong and then walk out the door when my barbecue came waltzing down the aisle. Lady drops the barbecue at the checkout and bails. Says nothing. You should be thankful that you've got a job in this day and age. The way things are going around in this country and other countries, and in this province especially, you should be thankful you got a job. That's my rant. I got to get home. I got to get this thing put together. I got to get it lit. Because I got to let it burn some of the oil and whatnot off. And I want to try and season it up a little bit. So it's going to be a late night for me. And then it's going to be an early morning. Because I got a few cuts of meat that I'm going to put on there early. And let them run throughout the day. Anyway, it's time to head home. Alright guys, back home and now this is what I got. Problem is, I got to put it together. I started to do a time lapse of me trying to put this barbecue together, but I got a little frustrated. Rather than show it, I just cut it off, put the barbecue together. But here's what I got. So happy Father's Day to me. Oh. Yeah, I didn't buy it. Jen bought it. Have a look. All right, so there's the old. Oh, you look at that. So I finally got it together. Only a couple of spare parts, which is pretty good for me when I'm putting something together, but. Yes, I bought another char griller. Why? Because this char griller has been fantastic. And all I wanted was a grill, a charcoal grill. Nothing fancy, well, not yet, nothing fancy. So I went with the char griller again. Look at the cooking space on there. That's a lot of cooking space. So as you see, I got some coals going in there already. What I'm doing is I'm burning the oil off of the inside and I'm going to season this. And by seasoning it, once I burn all the oil off on here, I'm going to coat everything with a vegetable oil. I'm going to keep the fire going. I'm going to keep the coals hot. I'm going to let it go again for another couple of hours. I'm then going to pull the grates off while it's still going, recoat the grates and put the grates back on. And hopefully be ready by tomorrow because I got some meat today. And I have a whole separate video on this brand new barbecue tomorrow, barbecuing some fresh meat fresh meat is there any other kind of meat and it doesn't call for it but what I'm gonna do is I've got some hickory pucks here and I'm gonna put them on there right shortly just to get some of the smoke rolling in there and uh, hopefully that'll help the seasoning a little bit well this ain't bad for leftover parts two nuts and a washer I got another set of hot coals going over there. I'm going to put them on so I can keep the heat up and burn the oil off. Also put some hickory pucks in there so I can kind of get a little bit of the smell going as well. And I know all you professional grillers out there, he put smoke in that already. It's my grill. I'll do what I want. Unless my wife tells me otherwise. But right now it's got smoke. All right, so that's going to do for today's video. A little bit of shooting. New barbecue. Oh, hell yeah. Can't wait till tomorrow. This thing will be seasoned. Right, I'm not going to get into it. Tomorrow, brand new video. Father's Day barbecue with a new girl. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Later. Oh, get out and enjoy the outdoors. See ya.